Hello everyone, welcome back to You Can Do TV channel. In recent decades, bridges in China have regularly broken world bridge construction records. What happened to China's bridge construction industry? In this video, You Can Do TV will go with you to learn about China's achievements in bridge construction and where China can get those achievements. Let's get started right away. In the process of economic development, roads and bridges have always been the main driving force, for the development of countries and China is no exception. Over the period of reform and opening up, with the need to build huge bridges to meet economic development, bridges in China have had a remarkable development in both quantity and quality. Chinese bridge engineering has gone through three stages, learning and following in the 1980s, tracking and improving in the 1990s, and innovating and surpassing since the beginning of the 21st century. Along with bridge technology, China, with the initial role of a latecomer, is now gradually shifting to a leading role. The question is, how long does this process take to complete? The development of bridge construction technology in China has now taken a significant leap forward, with the construction of many extremely large bridges adopting new structures, difficult design and construction, materials and engineering processes. Complex high-tech. Up to now, the scale of bridge construction has continuously increased. As of the end of 2017 alone, more than 830 000 bridges have been built in China. As of now, China's bridges account for more than half of the world's top 10 bridges by category, including cable stayed bridges, suspension bridges, arc bridges, girder bridges, and cross sea bridges.
In all of these categories, China has demand in the top spots. With these brilliant achievements, China's bridge industry in particular and roads and bridges in general, have been widely recognized by the world. The bridge has become one of the most important brands in China's infrastructure construction, and the international recognition of China's bridges is constantly increasing. When going into the analysis and comprehensively understanding all the factors, the researchers find and recognize that, these achievements are due to the considerable amount of scientific and technological research, performed by the bridge engineering industry in China, based on their needs. The bridge engineering industry in China has made great progress in four aspects, material technology, surveying and design technology, construction technology and management and maintenance technology. Limited to this video, you can do a focus on analyzing the development of bridge building materials technology in China. Materials are an important basis of bridge engineering, therefore, to be able to build longer, more sustainable bridges, materials that meet that are needed. So far, China has achieved domestic production in concrete, steel, cable, composite materials and smart materials. Many new types of concrete materials with lightweight structure and high performance, have been studied and are gradually being applied such as fiber concrete, concrete C50 and C60. The development of steel in China has gone through the stages of low carbon, low alloy, high strength and high performance. Currently Q345 and Q370 steel are widely used, Q420 is gradually being applied. More steels are being developed, and epoxy coated steel bars and stainless steel bars are gradually being adopted. Regarding the material of the cable, 1770 megapascal steel wire and 1860 megapascal steel wire have been localized and applied in engineering. New smart materials are also gradually being researched and applied in bridge engineering. With the remarkable developments in material technology, they have made an important contribution to the outstanding development of China's bridge construction industry.
In your opinion, where is China's bridge construction industry standing on the world map? How long will it take for China to completely surpass other countries in this area? Please leave a comment and discuss.